What is good, everybody? It's your boy Jermaine Trotter. Uh, an interesting topic today. As most of you probably know, the Big Ten is making some contract changes. So this is straight from the ESPN article written by Adam Rittenberg. So the Big Ten has completed a new seven-year media rights agreement with Fox. CBS and NBC it is set to bring more than $7 billion to one of the nation's most powerful athletic companies. The deal will begin July of 2023, that is this year, and run through the end of the 2029-2030 athletic year. So specific terms were not disclosed, but a financial windfall will come immediately according to the media sources. The CBS payout in one year of an agreement is lower since this is still be carrying SEC games during the 2023 season. And we're are only seven Big Ten contests that fall. But the Big Ten per school distribution will turn upward in year two of the deal. When new members UC USC and UCLA enter the conference, revenue will rise substantially beginning in year three. Okay, so. So we pretty much know that the SEC on CBS will still be happening for the 2023 college football season. I had mistaken that it would not be happening. I had mistaken that they were moving on, not officially yet. They said only seven Big Ten games will be streamed on CBS. And it also continues to state the Big Ten is projected to eventually distribute 80 million to 100 million per year to each of its 16 members. According to USA Today. The league distributed 54.3 million to most of its members during the most recent fiscal year, not impacted by the coronavirus pa pandemic. And this is what the commissioner had to say. It's very expensive to operate our athletic departments. These new deals will continually provide stability for our athletic departments to service our students in a highly productive manner allowing them to get a world world class education but be treated in the manner that they rightfully deserve this will help our student athletes in their continued pursuit of the game image and likeness opportunities because now you're going to be on linear tv from more from morning to night on saturday with three massive organizations and the article continues to state all three networks will carry future Big Ten football championship games. So that means Fox will no longer be the main carrier for the Big Ten championship. Fox will remain the Big Ten's primary broadcast partner and has carried the title game since its inception in 2011. Will broadcast 2023, 2025, 2027, and 2029. CBS will carry the game in 2024, 2028. And NBC will in 2026. So this is pretty interesting. This is very, very interesting. The Big Ten designed the agreement to pair major networks, networks excuse me, with specific windows on college football Saturdays. Fox will air games beginning at noon Easter. CBS, which has a deal with the SEC that expires after the 2023 football season. So the SEC will still be continuing to be on CBS. In 2024, we'll begin airing Big Ten. Games in the same mid afternoon window. NBC will carry Big Ten games in prime time, which will be branded Big Ten Saturday night. Big Ten games will also appear on Peacock, NBC's direct to consumer streaming platform. Big Ten Network will continue to air football games up to 50 per year from 2024 to 2029, as well as most of the league's men's and women's basketball games and Olympic sports. The Big Ten will add a second Black Friday football game on CBS. Fox will carry 24 to 32 football games per season during the agreement, while NBC will carry 14 to 16 games on its linear network and eight games per year on Peacock beginning in 2024. CBS will carry 14 to 15 Big Ten games per season. Big Ten and Fox will coordinate a selection order for games. So. 
And also continue to state that ESPN reject, rejected the off Big Ten's final offer of $380 million. So, judging by the looks of things, judging by all the changes that, is, that are taking place going forward, we could see we could be seeing the end of the Chris Fowler and Kurt Hurst Street era. And personally, you know, I'm I don't really blame these changes. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I personally do not blame me, uh, the NCAA for making all these changes. Because at the, you know, like Chris Fowler and Kurt Hurst Street. Brett Musburger, Kurt Hurst Street, they've been, you know, ESPN, they've been having these games for how many years now? And I think the NCAA has come to realize it's time for change. It will definitely do, do CBS, NBC, and Fox some great sh- viewership for the national championship to be on their platforms. So the NCAA just about it looks. Judging by the looks. They look they're looking to get on, on Super Bowl speed. They're looking to get on NFL speed. Listen, don't get me wrong, I definitely enjoy the ESPN area as the national championship. I've definitely enjoyed the era with the national championships. It was great to see Bre- Brett Musburger with, with uh, the greatest intro intro of sports history. Let's take a listen. Welcome to Saturday Night Football, presented by Windows 8. You are looking live at Oklahoma Memorial Stadium in Norman, Oklahoma. Notre Dame, Oklahoma. One of the more anticipated games of this season. The Irish storm in undefeated with the number one defense in the land. The Sooners determined to end that streak before a sellout crowd that is bursting with energy. Good evening, everybody, and welcome. I'm Brent Musburger, along with Kirk Herbstreit. What a night we've got here for you. And already, fireworks, the number two team in the nation. Florida's lost, and here are the Irish, poised at number five. They're coming into this this game at 7-0. and Their fan base, I don't think they've been this excited in over a decade. And they knew coming into the BCS era with a new foundation, Chris Fowler. This precious prize awaits in the promised land in playoff year one. The reigning champions hoping it'll be a circular journey back to Texas. Davis Winston promising more domination. But can Oklahoma State and J.W. Walsh derail the Seminole sequel tonight? And welcome to Saturday Night Football on ABC presented by Wells Fargo, part of Dick's Sporting Goods kickoff week. The spectacular setting of AT&T Stadium in Arlington, sun streaming through the window, loaded with guarded in gold. The Florida State fans have traveled strong and taken over, but plenty of orange from up the road in Stillwater. Seems like Goat Campbell West. And welcome, Chris Fowler along with Kirk Herbstreit. Our 19th season working together. Yeah. I am honored to jump on this train and travel to all the hot spots and end up right back here for the championship oh, man, game. It is, gonna, it is definitely going to be interesting to look to see how what the future of college football holds. It's definitely going to be interesting to see what the future of college football holds. Because I honestly feel like, you know, I know you, you, you already know NBC already makes a ton of money. Already, you already know NBC makes a whole lot of ton of money with the Moshi Dame contract, but it will definitely do them some good with the Big Ten conference, Big Ten conf, conference contract. I definitely it would definitely be good to get the the Big Ten on the man. Watch it, NBC. Excuse, excuse my words, you know. Um, excuse my excuse my word and excuse the mistakes, but yeah. 
And also, you know, I I know I know CBS been wanting to get the Big Big Ten on Ten football on CBS. And why would they not? Why would they not? Especially not to mention they, they they're the main contributors when it comes to CBS, especially when it comes to tournament time. Those tournaments matter. So this will definitely this will definitely do. It's all about making money. It's all about. It's all about getting college football fans to, you know, to just enjoy the product. And I'm not saying ESPN is a decent product itself, but, you know, I feel like, you know, like NBC, CBS, Fox, they're more, they're more national compared, compared to ESPN. And, you know, not really so many people nowadays be watching ESPN that much like they used to. I definitely feel like, you know, you know, NFL football comes into play. Yes, you know, let, let, let's hype everybody for sun for Sundays for the NFL seasons, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but anyways, uh guys, I gave I gave my honest honest thoughts. Uh, I thought this would be a funny video. Uh y'all already know what my motto is. God bless love you guys and you be strong. As we say here at Utica University, always remember to fear the moose.